I've seen most people often coming with the question of uh, whether to save or to invest. But my question is always this very clear and simple. First and foremost, define your financial goals. So what are your goals? Is it for a short term or is it for a long term? Do you want to keep this money away for a short term or a long term? Saving means setting some money aside for some future use or maybe you're planning to buy something or maybe you're planning on a, a, a certain project and now you want to save your money or to keep your money aside so that you can use it at a future time investing on the other hand is setting your money aside in a vehicle or maybe purchasing an asset that gains value with time Therefore, you expect this money to have gained some capital gains in a given period of time. So when I say define your financial goals, it depends with the, this is to mean that you need to know what you really want to do with this money at that particular time. So for instance, if you want to save your money, maybe to pay for your higher education that is coming up maybe in four years or your child's higher education, then uh, maybe investing might not be uh the right the right you know way to go because uh investing means that uh, you don't know what will have happened to this particular asset by that time that you need the money back so for instance you can choose to put uh money that you intend to you know to pay fees with um in a in a, in, in stocks like for instance purchasing stocks Purchasing stocks, as much as it's a high, you know, high return uh, investment, it has its also high risks. So in these five years, you might not have gained your capital gains on the same. So this means that uh, you, may, you will not have achieved what you, you had set out to do. So because sometimes when you make some investments, you might at the same time lose your money or maybe your money may not gain as well as you would desire them to, desire it to. So the best option to, to take in such a situation where you are putting your money, you have a goal that is coming up in the near future. I would say it's putting this money, saving this money. So saving this money does not necessarily mean that you put your money just in a, in any bank account. You can put your money in a in an account that is earning some interest, that is maybe a fixed deposit account. Uh, you can put this money in a circle where your money will be earning some dividends, and so you reinvest the dividends and, or uh, you can you can even put this money in a money market fund. So what that means is that your money will be gaining in some interest. So there are different ways of looking at this. First, define what your goals are. Because when you go the investment way, maybe in a, in a situation whereby you're looking for a short term, uh, you may not be able to achieve what you really want. But now, again, you can't say that you are putting your money aside for uh, for some that is coming up maybe next 10 years. Or maybe once you have this money and you want to you not know, have to... Hurt to have some gains you know in a, in a certain period you're not in a hurry that is for this year with this money so that way i would say invest the money you can invest the money in um, in uh, government bonds you can invest your money in um, in uh, maybe longer term treasury bills you can invest your money in real estate and your money by this time will have accumulated you know well enough for you to go about it so so whether saving or investing both of them have their you know their pros uh just determine what time you need your money after what period of time you need your money back and decide which way to go i do not preach against saving money all the time putting your money aside you know that is saving your money always has its benefits just define know what you want to do with this your money and put the money in the right place hope we get it all thanks for watching